Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Mondays or Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed, whatever we call it. I don't remember. Uh, today we are beginning Assassin's Creed Syndicate. If I can get my headset to behave itself. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm excited to start this game. This is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games ever. Um, with some of my favorite characters in it and everything. Um, I'm excited. Uh, before we get started, though, I have to temper my excitement because before we get started... Um, I just want to quickly remind you all that I have a Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash, uh, Crimson Knight, as you can see on screen right there. Sorry, I've got some fuzz on my keyboard that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, as you can see on screen right below my face. Um, it is a place where you can support me continue to ensure that I could continue to make content like this and help me improve my content as we go and so on and so forth all right so let's get to it um so as I have played this game before as you as with all Assassin's Creed so far played this game before I reset the progress so this is a completely new playthrough as you can see there, um, we will be doing both the main game and the DLC, the Jack the Ripper DLC, as always. Um, and yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to think if I have any last minute things I want to say before we get properly started. Uh, oh, I do want, there's somebody I want to message real quick. Hold up. Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so before we actually do the, uh, do the, I am going to properly new game it rather than just continue. Cause it, it said continue cause I had to start the thing in order to get the screenshot for today or for for the announcements so anyway i didn't actually get far but it was enough all right let us check display okay it's been auto uh let's see here yep that all looks fine Uh, do I want to actually have you do borderless? No, I don't. The title's on. That's what I was checking. I love this version of the uh, song. That little high pitched violin. Ah, oh, beautiful. New game. The past 
is your playground, Abstergo. Powered by anime. Face this override. Welcome, assassin. Hello, initiate. Hi, Bishop. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop. Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. Rebecca. I've got picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. And Sean. I missed you guys. A lot to sift through. I'm going to get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. A taser like assassin you you like weapon. This. All we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the peace of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry, twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a oh, no, vicious sucks, street gang known Good as luck. the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited by duplicity or force our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all and so as you look inward and dare I say it afraid Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered though not for long for he knows as I have warned you time and time again Whosoever controls London controls the world. At least back then. We will meet the guy who wrote that letter in a bit. First, we must eat the, the fry twins. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right, my mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. 
More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. E.B. Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. So first things first, I need to tweak some controls. Um, wrong thing. Keyboard mapping. Here we go. Navigation. All right. Move forward, back. Blah 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 blah. Run. Sneak. Might not have that be that. Depends on what else is. So it lo doesn't look like control is mapped. So let's change that to that. Uh, parkour up. E is parkour down. Okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, assassinate, aim, Vicky's tool, eagle vision, rope launcher, we don't have that yet, medicine. It's funny how hard Yubi was like, yes, people want a female PC assassin, but what if we, what if we do, but also don't? So, actually, okay, that's actually a very good point. So, it has actually come out that it's, there was one per person in particular who was vehemently against a female pro a protagonist assassin. He was convinced, or at least claimed to be convinced, that, uh, that it would, that their audience didn't want it. Even though the audience was like, hey, how about a cool female assassin? We had Aveline, she was awesome, let's have more. Um, but he was vehemently against it. And he was in charge of half of the games, over half of the games, um, including this one and Assassin's Creed Origins, as well as Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla. So in this game, they started to do a femme assassin protagonist. Like they'd had the coding and all of that, they'd started the process of creating Evie Fry as the main protagonist, the main and sole protagonist. This guy comes in and says, no, make it a man. And they're like, well, we've already got this woman. So what if we do both? He's like, fine, as long as you could play a man. Then Assassin's Creed Origins, they were planning on having the main character be Aya. But guess what? This asshole comes in, says, no, make it a man. And so they have to then go out of their way to rewrite the entire story to follow Bayek. And then for Odyssey, the developers were like, okay, we're going to stick to our guns. We're going to make the main protagonist a female. Her name's going to be Cassandra. She's going to be badass. She's going to be a Spartan. Let's go. This asshole comes in, says, no, make it a guy. And they're like, but we've already done all this work on a woman. And they're like, and he's like, I don't care, make it a guy. And so he, so they make it Alexius as a potential, as the ability to choose between the two at the start of the game. And then in Valhalla, they were going to make Ivor Femme as well. But then guess who? overrides them and makes it so that they have to include the gender swapping options. It's a thing. And this guy ever since Valhalla after Valhalla came out, like this the whole reason one of the whole reasons I have the whole Ubisoft accountable down here 
is because of this guy. This guy was one of the one of the Ubisoft people who got ousted from the company, or at least got a bunch of shit dropped online about him. And he then was reassigned or fired or something. I'm not sure which, but like it, yeah, it's he was one of the people that the whole that the whole hold Ubisoft accountable thing was about. It's a whole ass thing. It's not that Ubisoft was like, yes, people want a female PC assassin, but what if we do? But what if we don't? It was that Ubisoft was like, we don't care. Just make us money. The audience was saying, give us a femme assassin. And this and the developers were like, OK, we'll give you what you want. And then there's this one man who had power and was like, uh, no, excuse me. How dare you have a, an awesome story about a chick? Excuse me. No, this has to be about a man. I, and I will die mad about it. Thank you. Thank you, that. <laughs> oh, you mean that wasn't your intention for bringing it up? <laughs> I was kind of hoping somebody would. <laughs> Not this hard, fair. Oh my god, they have a bell. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, fine, I'll leave it on Z. Okay. Wait a second. Database? Oh yeah. We did get a, like 11 new entries. So we got Evie and Jacob Fry. The rough and tumble Jacob and the gorgeous Evie Fry. Oops. Come on, mouse. There we go. Rupert Ferris. George Westhouse was the uh, assassin leader that we were just talking to. You should expect no different than Jamie going off on a, a har going off hard on a tangent involving Assassin's Creed. No, never. Bishop. <clears throat> Date of birth unknown. Here's the thing, and it's a thing that quite annoys me. I don't know anything about Bishop. <laughs> Few years back, Rebecca and I. So this is these are all written from Sean's perspective. Um, Rebecca and I stumbled across upon a hacker collective calling themselves the Initiates. The Initiates introduced in uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, started by Bishop. Uh, they built an impressive little network and had been spying on Assassins and Templars alike for years. A few of them even managed to infiltrate an assassin cell. I gave them a rousing speech as I often like to do, and managed to convince them to join our side. Just like that, a new assassin network was born. I was kind of under the impression that Rebecca and I would be responsible for them. Is Fighters Keepers one of the tenets of the Creed? Maybe it should be, says Rebecca. But along along comes William Bloody Miles, who we, re who we remember to be uh, Desmond's dad, and who went missing after Desmond's death, who simply said, this is Bishop and she's in charge of the Initiates now. And that's what it's like with grumpy old Bill, you know? He just kind of tells you how it's going to be. So grumpy, says Rebecca. <clears throat> so that's how I met Bishop. I know what she does. She is kind of a central controller and dispatcher for assassins around the world. She makes sure that when a Templar pops their head up, an assassin is waiting to cut it off. Or if there's a new set of genetic memories to synchronize, she finds us a helpful soul like you to help synchronize them. 
which is all well and good, but I still don't know who she is, and quite frankly, I am loath to admit, it drives me batshit crazy. I joined the assassins by uncovering the greatest conspiracy theory known to man, and yet I can't find anything on this, ro on this woman. Everyone's got a theory. Gavin thinks she's a former CIA. My friend Harlan thinks she's a defector from Erudito. Erudito first, uh, first appeared in um, Assassin's Creed Liberation. Uh, they were a group started by uh, the modern day sage that was the antagonist, John, I think his, was, his name was, in Assassin's Creed 4. Um, from Erudito, another hacker collective that no one's heard from in a while, and, and it's because it was started by him, and then he's and now he's dead, and so Erudito is gone. Um, Rebecca tells me that she that she actually knows the truth, but promised not to tell me. I pinky swore. Hashtag sorry, not sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth Ardant. She's the Templar bitch that they were hacking the systems of at the start of the game. Um. Maiden named Chu. She was born in Hong Kong, moved to UK. Uh, Stergo Industries by its Young Innovators program. Uh, Isabel Ardant was the one who made sure that Abstergo Entertainment which is who we worked for in Assassin's Creed 4 and Rogue, um, had access to the Subject 17's genetic memories, which they used to create the uh, Devils of the Caribbean in-universe game, which is the in-universe version of Assassin's Creed 4. Um, getting her hands on all of Abstergo's research meant that it didn't take long for, uh, for the Templar Order to notice her, <laughs> they appreciated her meticulous nature and brought her into their inner sanctum so that she could guard their most valuable secrets. Which, let's be real, hasn't really worked out. That's uh, that great for them. Feels like they can't go six months without getting hacked, by, says Rebecca. Considering that Rebecca's the one hacking them. <laughs> them or, you know, the initiates. Uh, Rebecca... One key reason Rebecca is so great is that she traded a life of extreme sports for a life of intellectual pursuits. Rebecca might have been an Olympian if it weren't for her deep love of comical cigarettes and doobies. Apologies for the technical jargon there and a nasty broken leg. No doubt obtained by doing something utterly crane-like, like falling out of a helicopter into an avalanche or trying to drive a jet ski through a tornado while eating a tofu burger. While recuperating, she taught herself to code and found her true calling as a maker of things. She provides tech support for assassins in the field. She creates and maintains her gear, even going so far as to create our own version of the Animus, which she named Baby, which was the version of the Animus that uh, Desmond was using in Assassin's Creed 2 through 3. Did I mention she enjoys recreational substances? Don't sass me. You can't even make a cup of fucking coffee, says Rebecca. Bex swears too much, has a very easygoing nature, She's, but she's lost friends along the way. Clay, Lucy, Desmond, assassins rarely retire, if you know what I mean. But she's never once thought about giving up. I'm proud to say that she's my very best friend in the world. Aww. <laughs> However, she's bloody annoying and a vegetarian, so you can imagine how easy that makes finding food while we're on assignment. Bite me! Death could be upon us at any minute, but oh dear, we must always procure bits of tree in order to sustain Rebecca. And you ruined it. Here's your punishment. Sean's birthday is the 16th of November, 1985. Not cool, Bex, and I happen to think I look quite good for my age. Aw. Date of birth. How rude. It shall never be revealed. Never. And then she says. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I'm your humble data scribe, a wordsmith. My name is Sean Hastings, and I am an assassin like you, though a little better. And m like most of you, I wasn't born into it. I wasn't raised uh, to join the Brotherhood as a brash inquisitive. As a brash inquisitive, and dare I say it, handsome young lad, I was obsessed with conspiracy theories and the unexplained. I started digging into the nasty bits of Abstergo Industries, of which there are legion. And 
attempted to play whistleblower, freedom of information. Huzzah! But all that got me was an appointment with a Templar death squad. Translation, Sean found a millennia old conspiracy that reached the highest levels of power imaginable. Thought the best idea ever would be to shout and wave at it. Luckily, <laughs> lucky for me, I was saved from certain death by the technological witchcraft of one Rebecca Crane. She brought me into the assassins and I've been here improving their lives, making entertaining chit chat and boasting and boosting moral uh, morale ever since. Translation, all I do for the assassins is build shit and Sean saves life. <laughs> And save Sean's life, Rebecca. <laughs> I've mostly served as a historian and analyst for field agents. I have a gift for organization, you see. I'm able to see patterns and connections as such. The assassins would be lost without me, and they'd all be saying a historian instead of an historian. And I'd probably explode. Um, but I'm much more than two wonderful forearms. I'm much more than two wonderful forearms, an enormous brain, two twinkly eyes, and a talent for grammar. I've been trained by our grumpy mentor, William Miles himself, and I've become a bona fide field agent. Aw, look at him. Growth. I take great joy in striking at the Templars whenever and however I can. I've infiltrated Absurgo Entertainment as a coffee barista. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4. Um, I blew up a Templar lab also Assassin's Creed 4. Um, well, no, not Assassin's Creed 4. That was Rogue, I think. Um, maybe not. I don't remember. I'm really impressed. I'm really very impressive if I do say so myself. You may think I'm an arrogant bastard, but that's only because I'm smarter than you. <laughs> and this one time I helped save the entire planet from a massive solar flare. But I hear you're shit hot at video games and can walk upright. So well done you. You should be very proud. <laughs> God, I love him. All right, we've got Abstergo, Animus, Helix. Okay. Oh, look, tutorials. He's almost as bad as you are, has already fled. No, no, you're right. You're right. There, there was no lie there. I am truly incredible. If I do say so myself. in or out yes there's a problem i hold the machines that door opens and i have my route to ferris
fly. The sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man! Run along home. You're I'll dead, you Do I have any bonuses I need to worry about? I don't think so. There's the blighters. Um, I'm not seeing anything. If you are part of the family, you'd better watch yourselves. Mr. Ferris's office is there, and he will watch you like a priest. Excuse me.
Uh, it makes it harder to attack and allows you to move faster. The stealth ring shows enemies above you and below you. Uh, from behind cover, hold, aim, and okay. You hear what Starak are planning next? Airships. Son of Can't go through here. Get over there. Oh, sorry, kid. Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine, but dock his wages. Yes, sir. Shall we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? Try to do this full ghost, shall we? Jacob.
climb the dam. There you go. Hey, buddy. Go to sleep. There's an entry point up there, there's an entry point there, I think we're going to go for the above, and there's one there too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the above. did you accomplish, boy? <coughs> a bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt, but not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon, you lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. A hank a white handkerchief instead of a white feather. Give me my mouse. All right, there's the. Translated the British slang. The 
Let's jump up, oh boys. We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Unscheduled. Careful, dude. You're gonna bring that whole damn train down on top of you. Next time I'll walk. Here's the best one. I love her whole fit. Look at that fit. Gorgeous. From the little cape. Everything. Perfect. Perfection. Yard. Guard quarters. Brewster's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter. Twinkling noise. Aha! That would be the twinkling noise. He's an inventor. His last words were, you're boring me now. Jeez. <laughs>
smells like Jacob's cooking. Ah! That should keep you busy while I head into your lab. Follow me down the tracks. You stay here. I'll keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. How would it come apart? Not your concern. Bring back the cargo. With the device. Your questionable practices are beginning Lucy to draw Thorne. unwanted attention. You have been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. If only Sir you were so lucky. I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. Like I said, I was merely only promised to so the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Tutorial, be an assassin. <laughs> Assassins are stronger when infiltrating dangerous areas from high places. Use eagle vision to identify opportunities for stealth and assassination. Hiding spots and useful objects will be highlighted in white. Kill enemies with hanging barrels, okay. Oh, there's hanging barrels over there. Come on, there you go. It's a two out of five. Ah, there's some. That's a David Brewster taking the largest haul of the Staric Industries. Not likely. Been on one of Mr. Staric's excursions. There's your trips. Thank you. Four out of five.
Ooh. I have smoke bombs. Indeed I am. Don't worry about it. Alright. Barrels, barrels, barrels! I'm hearing a twinkling that there's a chest nearby. Gotta find it. There you go. I can hear it. Where the hell is it? Oh, I know where it is. Other way, Evie. There you go. There you go, babe. Let's go. Now drop. Here we are.
secret laboratory. Well, well. Perhaps I can aid this interrogation. Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Woo. That was cool. Robert Topping. Robert Ignatius Topping. Brewster, Assassin Brotherhood. Oh, look at that. There's Altair, Ezio, Kenway, and Kenway. The Assassin Brotherhood is a secret organization whose ideology is centered on the belief <clears throat> that only free will can ensure the betterment of humanity. We have existed throughout record or, uh <clears throat> We've existed throughout recorded human history, locked in a battle with the Templar Order, who believe, well, pretty much the opposite of what we do. It's why we fight. Here's a, here's a question for you. If both sides existed before the historical Hashashin and Order of the Knights Templar, what were they called? Excellent question. Shut your lips up. <laughs> There's, there have been brotherhoods recorded throughout time. The Roman Empire, the Middle Ages, the Italian Wars, the American Revolution, the French Revolution, the Haitian Revolution. We're big on revolutions. Now, we get the answer to that question that Rebecca asked in assass in the next game assassin's creed origins and odyssey and valhalla because that's essentially what they're about but anyway uh we're big on revolutions but the one we're focused on today is the industrial revolution in london no, in london london in london where it looks like the templars have a pretty firm grip on the city the country and the british empire it wasn't always that way there used to be an uh, be assassins in london in the 18th century, the London Brotherhood was basically led by two people. A man known only as Miko, or Miko, and Edward Kenway. They met, uh, they met shortly after the latter returned to London from the West Indies, and for a time, it seemed like the English assassins would be stronger than ever. Miko, or Miko, was a bit of a free spirit. He roamed all over Europe, searching for pieces of Eden, making connections and lending aid to various regional brotherhoods. I'm not sure if he was ever officially designated as mentor, 
but and in any case he and edward weren't much for that type of ceremony what edward brought to the table was stability he used his charm to make connections in the city in both high society and the criminal underworld and as we're learning in the assassin's creed forgotten temple webcomic which is canon and follows edward's life um he uh did more than just in did that more than in just london Edward was murdered in his own home, betrayed by one of his business associates, who was actually a Templar. Miko kept about his business as best he could, but he was also killed by a Templar, Edward's son, Haytham. Now, the business associate, what we what we know from other sources, specifically Assassin's Creed 3 and uh, extra material that are common, that are that are canon. The business associate that murdered Edward was actually, I believe, married to Jennifer. Jennifer, I think was her name. Uh, the daughter, Edward's daughter with the wife that died while he was in the Caribbean. Um, and uh, the one we see at the end of the fourth game where they have that really adorable scene with them sailing off back to London together. Um, and she marries a Templar who then murders him, uh, murders Edward, and I believe converts Haytham to the other side. Um, she finds out, and if I remember correctly, she kills him in revenge. I don't remember for sure. It's, it's all a bit complicated and there is, uh, there's a book about it basically. Uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, with those two out of the picture, the Templars had a clear path to control London. In the here and now, the Brotherhood seen better days. The Templars won a, ma a major victory in 2000 and nearly wiped all of us out. But we've been rebuilding, slowly but surely. We are establishing new Brotherhoods in cities all over the world. We have a new network to stay in touch with each other, and we have people like you, our digital data miners, who um, are digital data miners. You might not have knives strapped all over you, but you're making a difference and I'm grateful. I'd be grateful if we could come up with a new term for us that isn't brotherhood. Tens of thousands of years fighting for progressive and free thought and we're still stuck with that? Aw. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> History tells us that the Templars were a medieval military order, first uh, order first known as the poor fo fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon. Uh, wow, that's a name. History goes on to say that it existed for roughly two centuries in the Middle Ages and were closely tied to the Crusades in the Holy Land before being disbanded after their leaders were burned at the stake in France, which we hear about in the beginning of Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, that history is a lie written by the Templars. Not a complete lie, but mostly a lie. Uh, like the Assassins, the Templars have existed in some form or another since the dawn of recorded history. Their ideology is centered around a perfect world, and their interpretation of the uh, that perfection often, if not always, involves around absolute uh, involves absolute control over the freedom of individuals. The Assassins respectfully disagree. The Templar orders control over the over the city of London and by extension much of the British Empire was uh, like a sneak preview of the control they exert over the world today. In the 18th century, a grandmaster named Reginald Birch uh, managed to sneak into the life of one of the most influential assassins of the day, Edward Kenway. Uh, Birch was appointed as one of Kenway's property managers, but soon became a friend of the family, even going so far as to court Edward's daughter Jenny. There it is. Court is a polite word. I'm. I'm. Uh, it's a polite word. I'm sorry we don't use as much today. In reality, all Birch wanted to acquire was Kenway's research into the first civilization. However, Jennifer discovered the truth and informed her father. That's what I was misremembering which forced Birch to send mercenaries to the Kenway mansion. Edward was killed and Jennifer was sold to Turkish slavers, obviously. Oh, I forgot about the Turkish slavers part. 
to add insult to injury, Birch became the legal guardian to Edward's son, Haytham Kenway, and raised him as a Templar. With Edward out of the way, London was left without a significant assassin presence, and Birch wasted no time solidifying his order's grip on the city. But that wasn't enough. He wanted access to precursor sites and sent Haytham to the colonies in order to try and secure one. That was Assassin's Creed 3. Birch's treachery was eventually discovered by Haytham and his sister, who, who murdered him. But by then, the Templar's control over London was absolute. Basically, Jen re uh, Jennifer re returns, and Haytham and the two of them work together and get revenge, but Haytham stays a Templar. Um, he, he, they get revenge, but yeah. It, Haytham's like, nah, I'm still a Templar. Anyway, um... Industry politics, they had their claws in every layer of society. The Templars in London went virtually unchallenged for over a century. These days, the Templars are still pulling the strings. In the past, they were uh, they were popes or royalty or politicians. Today, they operate behind the most insidious force of all, a corporation. The public face of the Templar order is a multinational conglomerate known as Abstergo. No, Evie. Up the ladder, my lad. My lad, my lass. That's the word that was trying to come out of my mouth. Up. Okay, I need to get over there. Go up. There you go. What are you doing? Keep that key in your pocket or else Miss Thorne will have your guts for garters. Let's have a butcher's downstairs then. I want to see that artifact. Not if you value your life. A butcher's. She's an intruder! A butcher's, aka a butcher's hook, aka a butcher's look. Ah, uh, Cockney rhyming slang. And other British such things. Got it. Got it. There's a guy, a couple of guys. You think Edgar nips downstairs for a taste? Would he tell us? Not on his life. If I had that key, I would keep my mouth shut tight. No 
sense wasting time on her. Come on. Just a second. Come on. Hey, Queen. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Oh, just a second. I have a thing that crashed. How are you doing, Queen? How's your day been? Dude went fucking flying! I'm sorry you're annoyed by that. I I'm sorry that, uh, I'm sorry that they've annoyed you like that. My day's been good, though. People, uh, uh, about the people who are annoying you, give me names, numbers, and addresses, and I will take care of it. And faces. Pictures of their faces. I will take care of it.
There you are. The entrance to Brewster's lab. They won't bother you anymore when I'm done with them. Skill points. All right, so this is the skill tree, specifically Evie's. The it's not just Evie's skill tree. The skill tree is shared by both of them, though they do have skills that are unique to both to each. So uh, an example being these ones down here in the center column. We've got Chameleon. Knife Master 2 and Stealth 3, for which are all unique to Eevee. Uh, she will literally turn invisible when stationary. That's how good at stealth she is, and I love her for it. Um, Eevee can carry twice as many throwing knives. You know, she's much, much more stealthy overall. Uh, Jacob, however, is the fighter. He's the bru the bruiser. Uh, he's the one who, like, he will, uh, he hits hard and quick, basically. And it takes a lot more damage. Um, so, yeah, anyway. These gold ones are all ones that we've already unlocked. Um... It looks like it's forcing me to... Yeah, I can't exactly, uh... Can't exactly pick any of the other ones, so I'll have to get this one. Uh, chest. Now I can get some of the other ones. Okay. Alright, let's see here. You get a health boost. Um, let's see here. Lock picking. That's tempting. I'm thinking lock picking. Um, automatically loot enemies when you assassinate them, knock them out, kidnap them, or perform multi kills. Maybe, but I'm I'm still leaning lock picking. Uh, Eagle Vision two. Uh, tag enemies through walls to watch and tag enemy. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Allows you to see enemies and tag. Yeah, okay. Uh, and scavenger gives more resources. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with lock picking. Now I do have the ability for one more thing, but lock picking is more important. Uh, so, I, but yeah, and then this one. That way I don't have to take the time to loot their corpses. Alright. Double assassination! It's like they wanted me to do it. Hi, fellas. You didn't see anything, my guy. Keep on walking. Oh, I tried to do a double. Oh well. I was too far away or something. Hold on. I hear tinkling. There. I see a tinkling.
hear it again. Uh, where is it? Is it below me? Piece of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. So I have to air assassinate this guy. How am I going to get above him? Hmm. Saw nothing, sir. Just need to get above you. Bingo. Bingo. It is time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much <clears throat> more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one, too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? It's in our nature. I must find a way out. 
Smart climbing under the grating so that nothing would fall on top of her. Smart. Come on. She killed her target, but she failed to uh, get the piece of Eden. I don't remember if that was part of her mission or not. that explosion what explosion ev piece of eden detonated and took the lab with it the magic lump of hyperbolic metal i'm shocked simply because you have never valued the pieces does not all mean... went according to plan hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication how slight the lab exploded jacob you derailed a train oh he did did he well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Call Dr. Grammatica. Oh, come on. Please, Appel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! 
All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> the churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> <gasps> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. You just had all your money stolen. Oi, come back here, you filthy Jacob, dipper! Stop. your little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Oh, You'll be sitting in a different town when I'm from does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakbrook Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? The best way to see any landscape is from above.
look at what Starak has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I my rooks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Jacob very much being a third wheel there. It's so cool being on this side of the leap of faith, you know? Oh, right. Uh, inventory. Weapons. So this is all the all of the weapons available in the game. All of them. Um, there are three main types. There are brass knuckles, cane swords, and kukris. Some of them have to be crafted, some of them have to, are bought, some of them are earned. Jacob currently has the Initiate Knuckles equipped, because you can tell because it's slightly glowing. You can see that these need to be bought. Yeah. There's one that had a black... there we go. Must be crafted, and you need to be level 5. So... Yeah. Alright, now the now the Assassin Gauntlet, which is the one that has the hidden blade on it. Different stats for it as well. Um, again, crafted or earned, and you have to level up, or bought, or, and you have to level up to be able to use them. Um... Belts are another thing. At least for him. For him are belts, for her are capes. Each has stats, etc, etc, etc. Outfits. These have, don't affect anything other than cosmetics. Then of course there's Ezio, Edward, the Huntsman outfit, Suave outfit, the Creature's Rags, which is based on Franken Frankenstein, and Dr. Daniel's garments. This one does affect stats as you can see here. Oh, this one does too. Actually they do kind of affect things, don't they? I forgot that. Anyway, and of course, color scheme. Can't have customization without color schemes. Oh, I saw a crimson. There it is. Not going to use it, but. And then, of course, we already looked at skills. Back to the database, which is what we were wanting to look at. Allies. Henry Green. <clears throat> Henry is as good at keeping secrets as he as is. Oh, my God. As he is at meeting people. Many people do not, and most people never will, know that Henry was not always called Henry. Jayadeep Mir was born the son of a princess and an assassin. Arbaz Mir, a member of the Indian Brotherhood, fell in love with Piara Kaur. Kaur? Kaur? Sorry. I'm trying. The daughter of the Maharaja. While, face, while racing against the Templars to find the whereabouts of the mysterious Koinur diamond, which is the main character, Arbaz Mir, and the plot of Assassin's Creed Chronicles, India. So that's why I wanted to play India before this game, because we see his son uh, in this. 
Jayadeep was raised and trained to be a member of the Brotherhood, but to the frustration of many, found he was more inclined towards books than he was to violence. Hoping it was just a phase, the Brotherhood sent Jayadeep on a mission in 1860, which he ultimately failed, putting the Brotherhood at risk. Jayadeep was then invited to England for a more suitable mission. He left home, but was, ne was ever hopeful that someday he would return, having proved to be a capable field agent. Over the course of his time in England, he adopted many fake identities, but he came to love the very simple curiosity owning, uh, a curiosity shop owning Henry Green. Henry, a name he heard often, and Green being the color of his hat at the time. Having made connections throughout London, he, he proved extremely useful upon the arrival of assassin twins Evie and Jacob Fry. For them, he helps in their quest to bring down the Templar control in London, having consumed as much information about the city as is humanely, po uh, humanly possible. While both sincere and hardworking, Jayadeep has a human side to him that many in the Brotherhood simply do not. Otto Berg, we've met him from in Assassin's Creed 4, and Rogue. Rogue is where he mo mo was mainly featured, and he's been mentioned ever since. Violet da Costa, we met her in Rogue, and she's been mentioned ever since. A few times since. And Alvaro Gramatica, he was featured in that uh, after credit scene, that special scene at the end of Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Quiet. Kalok's looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starik's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. <sighs> so tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starik Blighters. gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. <laughs> That's a face I, I recognize. found this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. <coughs> Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! Good old Charles what Dickens. What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. <coughs> knows everyone and everything <coughs> in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Let's go. We need to lead them away from Green. Here comes trouble. The carriage is easily damaged. Kalok will rue the day. Steady on. 
Those poor horses. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. I'm just going to leave it here in the middle of the road. Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to our activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Aveline. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. The map. Alright, what we got here? We got A, O, let's go. Whitechapel, City of London, The Strand, Westminster, The Thames, Thames, I guess technically is how it's pronounced, Southwark, and Lambeth. Lambeth. Wow, I'm having flashbacks to um, Watch Dogs Legion already. Not that Watch Dogs Legion wasn't, you know, entirely based on this game. It was made by people who very much loved this game and thus had references to it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, to catch an urchin. Aveline, we presume. Harold Drake. Templar Hunts. And the gang strongholds. Um, let's see here. 913. Aveline's nearby. Let's start with him. What's the plan then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. I can swap, char swap characters, finally. All right. Now. Let's up the Eagle Vision. Ooh, more lock picking. That's a mission reward. 
That's a mission reward. I'm thinking that one and that one. Inventory. All right. Basmir's cane sword. Ah, that's cool. That requires level three. Let's go with that. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade it. Okay, so you can only upgrade a thing once. Kind of like in Unity. Okay. Now. You can upgrade this. But it doesn't look like we have. Yeah, the only the only level two gauntlet requires progressing further. Okay, firearms. We were given a derringer. Level twos aren't available, so we'll just upgrade the derringer. <sighs> Come on. Capes. No capes. Yes, capes. Count's cloak, the cloaking cloak. Go ahead and upgrade this. And then we'll go ahead and purchase this one. Level three. A lot of level threes out there. All right, and now outfits. Simply Eevee, her default. Defend as Gob, increases melee damage received. Or decreases, I should say. Lady Meline's gown. Master Assassin. Oh, I love, I love it. Uh... Elise. She can dress up as Elise. Aveline. Chao Jun. And then there's her Nighthawk outfit. <clears throat> a blue for lady outfit, which makes her dress like a freaking vampire, and I'm here for it. It's inspired by Dracula. <clears throat> and Dr. Daniel's garments. Alright. So we'll stick with this for now. I cannot afford to upgrade it. And, ooh, what were the crimson on Ooh, I like that, but no. All right. Got her pretty well upgraded for now. Charles Dickens, Clara O'Day, Frederick Abilene, <coughs> Whitechapel, Fools, yes, yup, yup, okay. All righty. All right. 
takes it straight to this base. Okay. Now, we were going to go do talk to Aberline first. Thank you. There's a chest over there. I will try not to get distracted by collectibles. I promise. I can't promise I'll succeed, but I'll promise that. I, but I can promise I'll try. I don't see Mr. Aberline. Well, we tried. I see him. Them. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Aberline, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. to remain within the bounds of the law, for my sake. I don't need any corpses at the station. Approach the target from behind and attempt to make them talk. Then bring them to my carriage carefully. When undetected behind an enemy, press E to kidnap them. Dalton. Vantage complete. Completing this challenge will grant extra money and XP. Strategy: bring the target back alive. Get off me! Piss off! You and I. Oi! Shut your mouth. Meet my blade. Get your hands off me! Stop squeezing people of every last penny and we'll talk. Kaloff, we're of this terrible mistake you've made. You won't have the chance to scream save me, let alone pay Kaloff a visit. Help! Help! Here now. him behind bars. Thank you. That's it. Girl. 
Find associates throughout London and aid them. Aiding associates increases their loyalty to the Rooks, aka us. Loyalty unlocks unique and valuable rewards. Bounty hunt complete. Right. You can go take down the Templar down here. Or we could go... Let's go talk to Miss uh, O'Day over here. Why don't I rip your empty head off? How about you shut up? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's get up to the roof. Maybe that way I'll be able to stop being as distracted. Or distractible, I mean. Maybe. One can hope. <coughs> There you go. Oh, head, woman, you you're about to. Hi, kid. Go on. 
trying I was trying a thing it didn't work oh well oh well say lovey now then I'll just do this from her am I? There we go. Oh, there's a store over here. Hello. Refill. Treasure maps, eh? Okay. All right. So there's beer tasting guide where you can get vintage beers in the explored areas of London. Um, in the various areas of London, I mean. Various chests. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Whitechapel one. That way I don't. That way I can get it. Uh, get them later. Um, flowers. I have refilled them all. Alright. There we go. Hello, Jacob. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. No, hold on a minute. I like I'm her. late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I love her. All right, one second. There we go. All right. Skills, hey, all right. All right. You're also a mission reward. Um. We'll do this one.
Chatter and more work. Next one to utter a word spent the night trying to the fence. It says do not trigger the alarm. are important characters in any layout and are stronger than other enemies killing them stealthily will scare nearby enemies making them flee the area stealth kill the leader of an area to spread fear amongst nearby enemies walking because you weren't close up enough yet yes, keep man. walking because i have some there you go Oh, fuck off. Look sharp. I will be back. How much This off so that nobody can ever trigger it. Don't fret. Hey kids. Thanks for the old lady. Alright, one more. Watch out. Get off you. Up another level. Don't mind me. Hello. Don't worry. There's a thing in here I want to go get. Um, <clears throat> there it is. 
Social glitch service is currently unavailable. You know why it's unavailable? Because the servers are down. By which I mean no longer supported. Alright. Um 940, okay. Yeah, let's go take out the stronghold. are on the wrong side of town these days. You are welcome to try. Free and protect captured Clinkins. Sniper. Snipers have long range and can attract more enemies if they detect you. Eliminate or avoid snipers scouting the area from strategic locations. Okay. Lookout. When detecting intruders, lookouts run to the main shelter and call reinforcements. Eliminate lookouts to avoid reinforcements. Okay. Fine. We'll just get you out of the street for a second. Almost certainly. We can harness the gangs after all.
that's left is to kill the Templar. Harold Drake. You and your brother are attracting the wrong kind of attention. I would be careful. Yes, you should be, Mr. Kalok. As you like. to create a dynamite okay that's gonna be fun to try to do Harold Drake kill him with a crate of dynamite okay Saw nothing. She's having a new Lol. Flag. Wait 
She's a badass, I love her. We do not have. We got eight minutes. Let's see. Can I do this in eight minutes? Any goings on? For you, Chief. Good work. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Gaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Go ahead and upgrade the This was the kukri we just got from him. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. I love that it's like so formal that they have like legal representatives and contracts and stuff. Where are you, Kaylock? Perhaps this will draw you out. 
There you are, bitch. There you are. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Yeah, they now have a train. A mobile train base. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I ain't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes I love and that Bertha, she's glitched into the background. Locomotive at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails. <laughs> okay, they're both a little gl a gl they're both glitched. She's glitched in the doorway and he's just not there. What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now I would Evie, like to follow up a lead Get on. off the geometry. Jacob? This is serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe <laughs> I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greenie. Children. All right, that's far enough for today. Um, we will. Wait, do I already have this? Immediately distracted. Me.
Yeah, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll call it there for the night. I hope you all have been enjoying this dive in this initial dive into the uh assassin's creed syndicate um i'm over here giddy because this is one of my favorite ones and ah uh, it's so good i love it so much anyway um like i said that's it for me for the night we'll be back tomorrow with more tomb raider tuesday uh specifically continuing rise of the tomb raider um so yeah, before we head out, be sure to check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, you should absolutely check it out because there are all kinds of awesome stuff there. Things like my socials where you can follow me for updates, my Discord where you can hang out with me and my friends, um, my Patreon, which is also linked right there, patreon.com slash crimson knight, as well as throne. Uh, I have a throne wish list, throne.com slash crimson knight. So uh, yeah. Um, check those out at your leisure and if um, and if you want you can support me through those and all of that um, but uh, yeah either way we're that's it from me for the night so until tomorrow uh, remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourselves and love everyone around you and I will see you all tomorrow I love you all peace out